So let's continue our journey in understanding the nature of our reality. Here is Michael Tellinger showing what looks like a giant energy circuit comparing the surface of the earth to the motherboard on a computer. So I'm not the first one to bring this to your attention. People before me have also noticed that Mother Earth looks a lot like a motherboard. What we notice is temples or templates. What we notice is that the buildings are kind of set up like a motherboard on a computer. Obviously, we see melt damage here, but you can still see the motherboard nature of the surface of the earth. It's important to understand the reality, our reality, the nature of our reality. It's very important. So why? Because this way, if we study and understand a reality, no one can lie to us. And when they do, we know when they're lying to us. Notice the nature of how these look like columns. And computer earth and then active electricity but we'll get to that and another thing we notice is is that here are the columns I just talked about the buildings look like they're set up on a grid of a motherboard. And that looks kind of like a coil and a transformer there. And a motherboard on a computer. Mother Earth, motherboard. Look at that. That looks like a computer motherboard column that we were, I was just showing. And again, look at the nature of motherboard Earth. Look at the motherboard earth here. It appears that the surface of the earth was set up. All the buildings set up like a motherboard. It appears there is, was an old world here that was destroyed. Perhaps a grid meltdown. We see evidence of a grid meltdown. Towers to the domes. We see evidence of an old world that existed before us, a highly advanced civilization that set up the buildings like a motherboard on a computer to harness free energy from the ether, from the electromagnetic field, from the atmosphere. This looks like a city, doesn't it? It certainly looks like a city. But this is a motherboard on a computer. Look, what does that look like? Twin Towers in New York City. But this is a motherboard on a computer. Look at that. Look at the building set up like a motherboard on a computer. What we learn from research is that 
The previous Old World Order, Tartarian Empire, was highly advanced and they were harnessing free energy. The pyramids that you see here are part of what we see on the motherboard grid system. All of the cities have the similar buildings. Everywhere all over the world are pyramids like this, not just Egypt. Notice the color of the red brick here. Notice the nature of that looks like a motherboard on a computer. See here, it looks like a mother earth is like a motherboard. Here we go again. Here we go again. Set up like a motherboard on a computer. Obviously destroyed and damaged, though. As you can see, the circle here has been moved around. The ground has been moved around. Notice that, because we'll get to this later, but notice that the ground, see how this has been moved? That's supposed to go like that, and then that's supposed to continue here like that, but it's over here. The entire ground has moved. Again, notice the entire ground has moved. That looks like a keyhole. Looks like a keyhole. Here's the pyramids and the nature that it's set up like a motherboard on a computer. Obviously very flat. And the horizon comes up to your eyes, meaning there's land and it's flat. If it was a ball, it would never come up to your eyes because it couldn't. Because if it was a ball, it would have to be curving down from your feet to create a ball. And can never come up to your eyes because it's a ball. Notice the ground has been damaged most, but you have these keyholes from the old world looking down the old world before everything was damaged by some type of x-factor event we notice that it was set up the buildings were set up like a computer board a motherboard on a computer look at that But we see these pyramids all over the world. We see the same buildings all over the world. For example, let me just show you right back here. Obviously, the similarities between motherboards of a computer and cities. But they had it set up like this already in the old world with the understanding of harnessing energy this is from the old world it's like an angel or something this is from the old world building the harnessing the free energy and building it right into the architecture as you can see here it looked like we had a grid meltdown see the meltdown here see the melting here it looks like it got hot, the ground got hot and started melting like this right here. Notice this is melting like a grid. See the melting? That's what it looks like happens, but we will get to that. Uh, what I want to show again real quick is notice these columns right here and then I want you to come and notice the columns here and then I want you to 
notice these columns right here now notice these columns right here what does that look like the same idea columns 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 and you get this look you get this this is an active building that is still active as you can see it's the exact same color and electricity i'm going to show a video here of the noise uh, that this thing makes and you hear it all over the world people are talking about this noise but it's a, the noise of electricity you can see the same color here the violet color red shift blue shift you get violet electricity it's all vibration like tesla was saying everything is vibration and again all the cities all over the world are set up almost the same down to the street names and everything and they were all inherited like that from the old world and notice the columns here and the buildings and how it's set up and notice the damage and we'll get to that notice the melting here and the damage here the grid meltdown look at that it looks like mud but it the buildings themselves actually started to melt and turn into liquid what looks like this mud here as you can see behind this what's left of a building a pocket of survival behind it it looked originally all like that but as you can see it's been melted and turned into that what looks like a rocky mountain what they call that mountain these days you see the melting around the pyramid there was a grid meltdown. Notice all the flooding of the melting. Notice this right here is melting that way. See it? The building started melting that way. See the grid here? See the columns set up like a grid? Columns set up like a grid. Look at the melting here. It got very hot and it melted as you can see everywhere as i show you these pictures look even all the red brick here is completely melted and the color cooked out uh the red carbon 14 is completely cooked out of these bricks here and even the concrete molds that were put over the brick as you can see here have been you know, melted off with some X-Factor events. See the melting here? See the motherboard nature here? See the melting here? It looks like, we're going to get to more of it later, but imagine it, it looks like we've inherited a devastated place, and we'll get to it. We will get to it. So here's what it sounds like. Electricity. This is the sound of electricity. This is a live, active building. Notice the electricity around the top of the spire tower here. Towers to the domes effect from the electricity here. Violet, red ship, blue ship, violet. 